Okay, in this game, um, just taking a look because it was a pretty fantastical game from Stockfish in terms of position on the board. So I'm just taking a look at how we maybe have could have developed a little bit better. So we push through the centre here, all pretty normal, it's pretty straightforward stuff as far as I could tell. So they captured and obviously we're going to capture back, I'm being a bit previous here. So that's the simplicity of the opening at the moment. So feeling fairly happy, comfortable. It's attacking the knight. All pretty straightforward stuff. So they bring the queen down, so simplify and we just capture the knight, taking that off the board. And they capture back. So we are thinking this is a little bit of a weird position really because we don't usually have this and this type of situation. So are they looking for that cheapy? So we look to bring the bishop just to really sort of protect this area a little bit. We're thinking they're looking at getting the cheapy in there somewhere. And stockfish moves really quick so you just have to bear with. I've had to chop down this video because it was really long because I took a long time thinking over my moves especially when we get to a certain part where position just looks so good for stockfish so they castle queenside so we're feeling fairly safe our, king, our king's castled uh, no issues so we bring the bush bishop through now and felt this is really a soft move but what where am I going? So he brings the queen down obviously targeting this pawn here. So throughout the beginning part of this game um, I was feeling like I was um, being targeted towards this particular pawn. Just from the queen action initially. So they push the pawn up Again, this position looks a little bit strange and I'm just wanted to get my pieces in the game as best possible. So developing the knight up and then they're just pawn pushing at the minute. I'm thinking, oh, there's got gaps everywhere, but can I take any advantage of this stuff? My pieces weren't really working together as best possible. So it was kind of a bad start and I believe I made erroneous movements in not getting my pieces working together as best possible. So now smaller pieces attacking the higher piece, which is the queen. So we look to see if we're going to trade off. At this point, you know, ordinarily I think a human would just whip the queen off the board, but. Um, In this game, it felt like Stockfish was actually using an engine. <laughs> I have to laugh to myself. Um, yeah, it was a bit surreal, but the gauge bar is showing that we're not doing too bad at the moment. This is the first time I'm looking at this evaluation. So there's nothing major. It's just the queen targeting this area here. And then obviously there's potential for the queen coming here. And I'm getting squished because my bishop can't come here. So as we see, the bishop's come down. It's attacked. Pawn's taken. Now the pawn is actually on my bishop. So I'm actually going to lose my bishop out of that. It's fantastic positional play from Stockfish. Absolutely unbelievable. So we bring the queen back obviously expecting the bishop to be taken off the board and then they push the pawn down I'm thinking oh is this one of those positions where they're just giving a piece away maybe they're making a blunder I'm thinking well not at the level it's playing at here I don't think um, 
I don't think that's a blunder but we're going to move the bishop anyway so as you can see the pressure on this pawn potential pressure with the pawn pushing through here is quite immense and then they start bringing the knight down I'm thinking have they given us a little bit of a tempo win to get back in the game still conscious of this pawn here and I'm thinking yeah if we can block this off maybe we can do something about it then I think my brain went to sleep because we went and attacked the knight which is all fine they brought the rook defending the knight gauge bar showing it's getting a bit good for us here but I believe we messed it up somewhere in my head I did think right we're coming back we're coming back but all the while they do have this threat position going on and my pieces really aren't in good positions so we bring the bishop through looking to x-ray through to the rook thinking let's see if we can power drive their pieces out of the way brings the bishop back so we're trying to fight I didn't think that bringing the bishop back was a strong move but um, I don't think I made the best move yeah so we captured with the bishop and then they took with the rook and I'm at this point I'm thinking oh we've got this game this must be ours and I believe the error was in the next few moves that I made so I did think we were in advantage with them taking the rook taking with the rook So it's the countdown to the erroneous move. Like I say, I've not seen this um, evaluation. But I believe my next moves are not the best. Although they did feel good in the game, but positionally, I don't... It's Stockfish just did simple moves, but the position that they had just blocked off my king and everything. I believe it was probably this yeah <laughs> yeah I'm just trying to make space around my king for my pieces to work and I don't believe that was the best move to make so from that then on I'm like kind of chasing my tail positionally and this basically gate made stock fist oops excuse me a bit previous there made stockfish the positional master so I actually gave them the position have a look at the gauge bar now just from that one move it looks like nothing but if you have a look at the position of my king if you have a look at the position of my rooks position of his bishops he's got getting ready to actually get into some activity free pot on going here and a so the bishop comes down, we move the queen up, so it's all over basically at the end of the day. Because now my king is getting squished. All from that one pawn move. And I, I took loads of time over the move as well. But all I was doing was panicking about this pawn and I still didn't end up defending this area anyway. So it's massive, massive lesson to learn there. And as you can see in the early part wasn't doing too bad clawed it back a little bit with the opponent making a mistake but then didn't take advantage of that at all and really overfought the protection of this my king area and didn't do a good job with that so the queen's just putting checks on the king now so my king is all airy and really there's not much to be done here bishop takes the pawn it's like a delay tactic type thing and I just want to see whether or not actually taking this bishop with the rook was going to be the right move or not. Because they're out and out winning here, we don't really stand a chance. It's quite awful when you've got the boa constrictor, constrictor around you. I took absolutely ages over my moves in this game. Um, but I chopped it down so that it's only like a, is it a 15 minute um, demonstration. So they push the pawn down. So at this point here... Um, I think I should have just taken this bishop but I'm thinking no I've got the two rooks I'm going to keep the two rooks on that's going to win but I think I should have taken this bishop but 
but instead I moved my king because obviously I was fearful of his rook coming and put a check on here but I think I should have taken the, the bishop so they moved the bishop now because the bishop is the main part of this squish position that we ended up being in lessons learned again so there were opportunities in the game that I just didn't take because I was so fearful of my king getting squished I focused on the wrong areas in terms of developing my pieces so I brought the rook through now looking to see if we can own the file and defend our king as well so they push down so at this stage I've resigned myself to the fact that I'm definitely squished and all I can do is hold out smaller piece attacking a higher piece see if they make a mistake of some sort So he's looking for the exchange, but uh, currently, realistically, we don't want to be doing that. If we push the pawn up, then he's going to basically get a check on our king, and it kind of finished with his queen. So the only thing is, baby, just pushing the pawn up, blocking it down. But even that's not good. You see the gauge bar; it's like um, one move away or two moves away from a checkmate absolutely phenomenal play by um, Stockfish but also phenomenal pl phenomenal play by myself giving them the actual positions and making them the positional master on this occasion so what we're looking to do we're still trying to fight on still trying to get maybe checks on the king or a better position and just basically putting a check on but it's 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 not a fully functional um, check in its own right wins as a tempo but positionally it's no good at all so we're trying to scrabble any type of movement that can maybe upset them or maybe make them a mistake make a mistake but like I said this game felt like Stockfish had just turned on his engine and just went absolutely crazy with um, this fantastic positional play so this is why we're happy with Stockfish level 4 because if it's bringing out games like these then it's it's a good poser for me in terms of developing for the actual um, competition. Uh, the level 5s, level 6s etc those are more definitely computerised movements and I'm not really interested in playing computerised movements. So it's not blasting me out of the water with the with the moves, but the position is just really good. It's like a slow creeping death. So the queen moves back. And again, we're trying to upset that queen, but there's the magic square that it's looking for. Which is looking maybe here to put a check on the king type thing. We were thinking of actually taking this pawn, but we couldn't do that because the queen would have come here. So the bishop comes up. And now we look to attack the queen, maybe looking to get the rook off the board, see if we can get that exchange down as best possible. So we're still fighting away. And the look, rook's looking tasty, May, maybe just taking it off the board, see if we can get this queen exchanged off the board. So the queen moved. And let's just grab this um, rook, knowing full well he could always come round the back here with his queen, that type of thing. It's all looking a bit sketchy at this point. So the queen actually takes the rook. Okay, so it's a far corner. I could say he's looking for the magic here, but he does have other areas that he can actually go and attack the um, our king area. So now we're trying to fashion an, a dis, a dis, well, an escape for our king, because this constant threat all the time. Now the queen has got the magical diagonal. And I did think if maybe, if we'd kept it there and if we brought the queen here, then we would have prevented the queen from coming there 
I don't think it would have made much difference. So we bring the rook across, attacking the queen. Again, it's not going to make much difference now. It's over in like two two moves or something really. So that was fantastic. Um, it was a good wake up call, especially for just not taking it as easy with uh, with you know stockfish four. You know, got to really check your opening, and his opening looked very simplified. And as you can see, they get the checkmate there. And it was almost like we I ended up capitulating in my own brain because of the position that they had and I thought it was better than what it was really and look at this look at this um, position here that doesn't look good does it okay so what did we actually do we went for a, a check on the Queen and then the Queen came across so we're still in an advantage type thing then this Bishop move here okay let's have a look at this Bishop move Bishop I am through to the rook so that was my rationale feeling that that was fairly strong okay so I've got to break this down so that going forward um, I can really nail it come back down the bishop still comes here but then our bishop can come here oh sha that's the one <laughs> that's the I know it looks so simple but that yeah that's the one simple as oh dear me then all of that just falls into the wayside just the bishop here excellent I love evaluation okay great stuff right so where are we at again two point two key points and then after that it's a little bit shabby we've kind of clawed it back a little bit and maybe we should have just taken the knight doesn't really like that it's not happy with that maybe we should have taken the bishop yeah happier with the bishop because of the potential threat of this here should have just done that should have kept it simple in fact in our mantra knights hunt the bishops don't they again breaking away from the mantra does not work keeping that tension wow it's so weird how it changes when i'm playing over the board excellent okay massive points here um because this was a game where I allowed Stockfish to be the positional master. Uh, I'm not taking any away from stock anything away from Stockfish. I mean, it's a it's an engine, you know, for crying out loud. But it's a level that I can cope with, and I should be able to gain some types of advantages in some of the games, and and really work with them. With this game here, I don't think that I played the best game that I could play again using the concepts that we worked on and I don't want to go to the over the board competition playing like this this is why this is a really good level for me to be practicing on so we got fancy and arty with the bishop x-raying through so fancy and arty has no place whatsoever knock that on the head so we grab grabbed and look at the advantage though that we've got at this moment in time with that look at that that is to me that is quite amazing considering we didn't actually follow our mantra I mean that's a bad thing altogether gauge bar saying that's not happy but the opponent didn't make the correct move so we took advantage and then they've given up this rook here now at that point even me as a human I said okay well we should be winning this now so what did we do wrong here this is the crucial part i think because they gave up a rook so we've got higher material on the board that should be able to do something yet stockfish turned it round positionally oh yeah we already know this don't we <laughs> we've already covered this <laughs> we covered that in the game that's a terrible move Oh man, you know what? And I put lots of thought into that as well. 
but I think I had a kind of funny vision thinking that I push here and for some strange reason my rook is going to end up actually taking his um, bishop because he's got no protection on so that was a kind of strange thought which needs to be knocked on the head completely so there was definitely better movements I could have made and there's a bit of there's a host of them <clears throat> first of all probably this but again it might not be happy with that maybe just developing the rook here blocking this pawn off try that cheapy yeah okay blocking the pawn off that's not too bad it did drop but bringing the queen here didn't drop as much as the bishop but it's taking itself away from this rook which is a positive okay it's a positive but then you do have this aspect here oh and that's showing as a win it's showing as a win x-ray through to the queen it did drop so that wasn't the better one yeah, la, la, la. Mm, doesn't like that but either way I can do something can't I oh I can swing here oh I can swing there <laughs> oh, oh duh, that is just fantastic why on earth fancy and arty fancy and arty all I kept thinking I don't know I kept thinking I need to give my king some space this bishop's got no protection on we don't want this bishop getting this diagonal putting pressure onto here the creative brain just totally took over so the next games that I play because um, we play I think we're playing five I think out to sort of replicate the competition um, and this is the type of stuff I would do if I was playing over the board I'd be analyzing the game afterwards just to say well okay what behaviors did I actually show in this it's not about the techniques or anything it's about the behaviors um, because I can't, I can't change the techniques or the um, the way that I play um, overnight. All I can do is change the behaviour, you know, the way that my brain is um, not using the mantra. And in this game, it showed not using the mantra cost me plenty. Yeah. So this is this poor move here is not it's nonsensical really in a sense. It's not really giving me any advantages whatsoever. But in my head, I'm thinking yes, I am. I put too much weight on this queen being here. And I was constantly thinking about, oh, he's got the x-ray through as well. Why didn't I just do something? This poor move. I don't even know why that happened. That's so weird. Ah, dear. I mean, if he takes, then I suppose we're trying to get some sort of advantage there. But that's not the good advantage because then they come here and I've given them that position again the same position that I was very fearful of I actually gave to them absolutely absolute ridiculous and then the rest is plain sailing after that because that constant pressure my king is airy absolutely rookie mistakes big style very interesting game indeed the game that I made stockfish the positional chess master